in process improvement efforts, quality costs, or cost of quality, is a means to quantify the total cost of quality related efforts and efficiencies. Prior to its introduction, the general perception was that higher quality requires higher costs, either by buying better materials or machines or by hiring more labor. Quality costs fall in two broad categories. Costs of conformance, in other words, the costs of control or implementing quality. Costs of non-conformance, in other words, the costs of failure of control or rectifying defects. By adding the two costs categories, we yield the total cost of quality. The sweet spot is the point with a optimum level of service quality and the minimum cost of implementing it. As mentioned previously, quality costs fall in two broad categories. Costs of conformance. This includes two subcategories, prevention costs and appraisal costs. Prevention costs arise from efforts to keep defects from occurring at all. Quality planning, statistical process control, investment in quality related information systems, quality training, design verification, and systems development. Appraisal costs arise from detecting defects via inspection, test, and audit. Test and inspection of purchased materials. Acceptance testing. Inspection and testing. Quality audits. Costs of non-conformance. This includes two subcategories, internal failure costs and external failure costs. Internal failure costs arise from defects caught internally and dealt with by discarding or repairing the defective items. Scrap, rework, and material procurement costs. External failure costs arise from defects that reach customers. Complaints. Warranty. Product service. Product liability and product recall. This report analyzes overall trend in the quality program by showing the total of quality costs as a percentage of sales against time and the total of quality costs for each category as a percentage of sales. The quality cost report is an executive summary report showing the trend of all cost categories, and summaries, 